it is infuriating that constantly we return to this issue and discover that when we think we've had all the facts disclosed by the Metropolitan Police and others that have been involved, we find that they haven't and that there is more coming out. And that is incredibly irritating. I thought that when we had the McPherson inquiry, which I called for in Parliament, um, we were going to have full disclosure of the facts and then we find out that there's been issues that have been uh, kept uh, under wraps about uh, undercover officers investigating the family, that the, there's been documents that were not disclosed that should have been disclosed. And now we've discovered that there has been, you know, industrial shredding of documents that related to, to the inquiry. It's just unbelievable what, what has gone on. I've written to the Home Secretary seeking uh, assurances that the uh, documents that are currently held by the Metropolitan Police are secure. And these not don't just relate to the uh, investigation into Stephen Lawrence's murder, but also to the murder of Daniel Morgan. Yeah. And uh, that, that the, these documents may have evidence about people who were involved in this, the investigation into Stephen's murder that, that may have been involved in corrupt activities. Now, we need to get to the bottom of that. and We need to know that the, the documents that are currently held by the Met are secure. Are you confident they will be? Well, I, I, it's a difficult answer to give. You, you would hope that they would be, but given that the police have had this industrial-scale uh, uh, shredding going on, yet they can't tell us who sanctioned it, who did it, uh, so how can we take them at their word that the documents are secure when that sort of thing has been going on? It is, it is extraordinary, isn't it? Um, obviously, you, you talked about the issue of trust. You've written to the Home Secretary about this. Yes, I have. And uh, she's, I mean, she's written back to me, to, you know, giving me assurances. But, but you know, I, I, do, I, I am concerned uh, and, uh, and want to be... Uh, I, I want to see a conclusion to this issue once and for all. I want to uh, have full disclosure of all the facts so that we can have a fully independent... Uh, investigation carried out uh, and uh, it's Michael Essen who's carrying it out at the moment uh, who's an eminent QC and should w will do an excellent job I'm sure as long as he's given access to the facts. Are there some issues regarding the uh, Metropolitan uh, Chief uh, Bernard Hogan Howe he, he of course was a, a senior uh, police officer in the Metropolitan Police at the time this was happening was. Um, are there issues uh, about his role and, and the reaction <clears throat> you're getting now? Well uh, I think the he, he went before the uh, um, uh, Home Affairs Select Committee and uh, uh, his performance was poor because he seems to be, have adopted the view that if no one speaks to him about these issues, then he can't be asked about them. And, uh, and I, I think as he is the head person at the Metropolitan Police, that is not a satisfactory position for him to adopt. Indeed.